The long-awaited Model S and Model X refresh is a ways off. Talks are underway for the European Gigafactory. Elon makes a special delivery. And a longtime Tesla podcaster finally gets his car. This is Tesla Tidbits, episode number 429 for July 31st, 2018. We start the day at Electric with their story that the Tesla Model S and Model X refresh is mostly what we were expecting, just not when we were expecting it. Electrek managed to get its hands on some internal documentation that the long-expected refresh will be coming next year, in Q3 of 2019, with a total refresh coming in 2021. The refresh is mostly what we were expecting, at least to this point, and that it's slapping the Model 3 interior into the Model S and Model X. The one big difference is that the Model S and Model X will retain the binnacle, giving them a fairly big distinction from their little brother. It's not as prominent as it is in the current version of the cars, as it sits down into the dash a bit more and is far less conspicuous. The mock-up isn't the most attractive thing in my book, but again, this is concept art. The other conspicuous difference is the center screen. It is horizontal and looks a bit wider than Model 3's, and it is a beautiful bezel design, which I am very fond of. I must say, while I made the prediction myself at the beginning of the year that this would happen in Q4 this year, I'm not really surprised. Given the issues with Model 3 ramp-up getting to speed, I understand the delay, which I was certainly not accounting for myself. Check the full stories to get the concept art and decide what you think of the modifications for the bigger cars. Teslarati gives us the next story on the next Gigafactory to be built. On the heels of the China announcement, competition is heating up for the European Gigafactory, which we also expect to be announced this year. Talks are only in the very preliminary stages, but several locations are vying for the honor to host the factory. Officials from the Netherlands have confirmed their plan to nab the plant, as there is already an assembly plant in the country. Not to be outdone, Germany has two different locations competing for the plant. Rhineland Palatinate, which happens to also be the home of Tesla Groman Automation, which is the automation company that Tesla acquired last year, could be a leading contender for that very reason. Ralph Schleimer, a state official, told the Wall Street Journal that they've made their case. Quote, We have done everything possible to assure that Rhineland Palatinate is in the competition for the plant. End quote. Not to be outdone, Saarland, the other German state making a push, has also contacted Tesla in an attempt to win the plant. Economics Minister Anke Rellinger said, quote, They are looking at us to see if we fit their needs, but formal negotiations haven't begun. End quote. In a tweet last month, Elon did say that Germany was a leading choice for Europe, and so it would seem that Germany has the early lead. But this is anyone's race. There are many reasons why Tesla might choose any country in Europe to house the plant, so stay tuned as we sort the pretenders from the contenders. This next one I'd really like to know the story behind. Elon retweeted pictures of himself delivering a blue Model 3 to some lucky owner along with the following caption, quote, we tried out a new delivery system using an enclosed trailer straight from the factory to owner's home, so super convenient and car arrives in pristine condition without wasting plastic wrap, end quote. I am personally not taking this one at face value. Unless this is some super premium delivery option that costs a couple of dump trucks full of money, and not including Elon making the delivery, of course, this is in no way a sustainable way to deliver mass amounts of vehicles. I suspect there is more to this story than we'll likely ever know. And even if true at face value, how do you get to be the lucky owner? I guess I could see Tesla being the kind of company to just randomly pick a new owner out and have Elon show up at their house, but I find it far more likely that there's more to this story. Lastly tonight, a celebration of sorts. For those unaware that don't listen to his show, Ryan McCaffrey is the host of Ride the Lightning, one of the OG Tesla shows out there. Ryan finally took delivery of his beautiful multi-coat red Performance Model 3 on Sunday, a journey many years in the making. Just wanted to throw a shout out of congratulations to Ryan on finally achieving his dream, and as he always put it, is no more the kid with his face pressed up against the glass looking in from the outside. Welcome to ownership, Ryan. One quick show housekeeping note. Wednesday is the Q2 earnings call for Tesla. As always, I'm very much looking forward to the call, as we got to see some fireworks on the last one. I bring this up because, historically, there is zero news on the day before an earnings call. Just throwing out there that it's very possible that there will be no show published the morning of the earnings call because of this. 
You can check out the links to the full stories in the show description. While you're doing that, please consider supporting the show financially through Patreon at patreon.com slash Tesla Tidbits. Thanks very much to our newest patron out there, James Ross Harrison. Thanks also to the super patrons out there supporting the show at the $10 plus level. They are John Maltower, Drew Schuyler, John Waller, Mark and Sarah Thomas, Ryan Scarborough, Lee Sweet, William Henry Crew III, Dory and Steve Guberman, Bruno Condici, Joey Boots, Ralph and Cheryl Waterhouse, Adam Raymer Brown, Megabot Photovoltaic Development, Todd Sullivan, Robert Healy, Mitch Long, Zortec LED Canada, Morvan Ogg, Blake Thompson, Raymond and Deborah Malkowitz, T Sport Line, and Michael Pastroni. If you can't support with dollars, feel free to leave a positive review for the show instead. If you have feedback for me, as always, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits and use the hashtag AskTeslaTidbits if you'd like your question to be considered for the show. Hopefully, I'll see everyone back here again tomorrow. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.